Hey guys, Gamer of Gamers in the Zone, and welcome back to another episode of Epic Battle Fantasy 2. In the last episode, we had made it to the final boss, and uh, we unfortunately failed. So this is going to be my next attempt uh, at this thing, so yes yeah, guys... It's a weird sense of uh, rebuilding the world from ruin. So yeah, we were gonna wreck up his tank and we um, didn't exactly do the best job. So let me see if I remember how to beat this thing. I might have to whip out the scan bot again just so I can remember how to beat this thing. Cause I may not be ready. Uh, yeah, final boss intro. Get weak this thunder bomb and earth. Um, well, of course, you know, your typical abilities and can deal some mighty damage. So, yeah, we're going to want to be ready for this thing. So, I suppose for a good place to start the fight, let's start out with a good old air strike. There we go, already off to a decent start. Yikes, that's some strong damage. We just started the fight and already that thing was some massive damage. Alright, luckily, Natalie can heal. What is that damage? I know I set things up for stuff like that, but yikes. We just started the fight. Alright, I can handle stuff like that, but man, what was that other attack? Alright, power metal to keep ourselves decently healed. I, I noticed that uh, power metal heals a little bit more, uh, the more magic attack that I have. So I focused a little bit more this run of make, keeping the uh, magic attack up well. So that's going to be one way I'm going to go about some things. Alright, so, see, it's immune to getting stunned, and I kind of would like to focus Natalie's magic towards, um, support, so I think, um, I'm gonna try out some of these other summons, because, uh, some of these might be able to help, some of these other ones may not be too helpful, but ones like the, the support ones like the slime bunny sound extremely useful, so I'll probably activate the slime buddy bunny, when we get around to the actual fight. So I think, for now, I'm going to focus this round towards defending for Natalie. And it didn't really do anything. Nonetheless, I'm willing to keep doing that just in case that does do something. So I would like to see if I could get some of Natalie's um, ability... Yeah, some of Natalie's MP like that back. And... How is Nat's defense down already? I'd better get that back up next turn. Alright, I guess we have a decent amount of power to unleash another attack. Alright, let's activate protection so we can get that back up. And then let's cast a heal more, heal more spell just to play that safe. Keep that up, Matt. Then let's go for another air strike. Yeah, the big bomb. Then have Natalie defend again. Because that worked! Look at that, Natalie's MP is back to full. So I don't have to worry too much about MP at the moment. So why don't we activate... Actually, let's get the Slime Bunny um, summon going at this time. I'm sure that, that'll be useful in getting our uh, general stats back up. At least in some ways it'll help. Nonetheless, um, let's activate barrier one more time, because I know there's going to be some strong magic attacks coming up once we get into the actual fight. So let's call upon one more airstrike, and that should start the main fight. Here we go. Alright, and I know for the fact that on this first turn, um, 
we will immediately want to focus on the defense. Because I know it immediately on the first move, they're going to unleash their strongest attacks. Or at least I thought they would. Okay, I know on the next move, they're going to unleash some powerful attacks. So I'm just going to focus towards defenses again. Watch. Okay, there's that. And where's his most powerfulest attack? I know he has an attack stronger than that. Nonetheless, I suppose while I'm confused, I might as well focus my abilities towards uh, getting that cannon down as quickly as possible, because that cannon will wreck you if you don't do something. So why don't I scan it just to see what it, this thing's stats are? Because I know this thing's powerful. Let's see here. The Omega Laser Type Shoe Pooper, Final Boss Helper, Weakness Under a Bomb. Uh, it can be stunned. Okay, if you if its charge attack hits you, you're in trouble. Yeah, I know it is. But at least we'll know to be ready for that. And now I know I can stun it. That's another good thing to know. And there goes Matt. Great. Alright, get a revive spell going. And then unleash a uh, power metal. Stay in decent power. Okay, that thing's charging up again. So here's what I'm gonna do for this turn. I am going to have Matt defend, and I'm gonna have Natalie activate her limit break. So we have all bust, buffed up stats, and their stacks are now weak. Okay, so that guy's finally unleashing his most powerful attack, which I'm going to uh, avoid. It shouldn't deal as much damage as I worry about. Okay, good. No, that was actually a pretty good... That was actually pretty good. A lot better than I expected, for sure. Ooh. Actually, while I'm thinking about it... I'm thinking about if it would be a good idea to, um... Summon the Slime Bunny again, now that Matt... Doesn't have that thing's help anymore. Okay. So that takes care of that. That thing's still on the loose. Okay, that's doing well, so let's activate another power metal. And then why don't I... I don't want to focus Natalie's turn towards defending, but I would like her to do something. So why not, while the health is low, I think I'm going to unleash a powerful attack on um, our main bad guy here. Just to get, hurry up and get him out of here. Oh no, he's going to unleash another one of those right before it ends off the phase. Alright. Took yourself out, buddy. Oh no, what is that? Alright, well first things first, let's use another power metal to keep our set, our health high. And then, let's see here, what is that thing up there? Let's summon a scan bot to take a look. So, so if it's something dangerous, I'd rather it get taken out quickly. Um, thunder, weakness, but sealing it will force it to spam a moderate electric attack. Dial up satellite dish. So what does the satellite dish do exactly? Uh, apparently that. I should be able to still handle that thing's basic attacks. See, I'm not ready for that yet. So why not this turn I re-summon the slime bunny, maybe? No. Uh, why don't we... Why don't we focus this turn... Have Natalie focus her turn towards... 
I'm not sure what I want to focus it towards, but nonetheless, I think I'll want to summon another slime bunny to keep Matt at decent health. Just to play that safe. So that thing's electric attack based. And there he goes. Does that get undo my summon? Because if it does, I'm not going to be happy. It did. Should think about it at some point. What does that do? Oh, it siphoned our abilities. Alright, well, I'm going to focus this turn towards getting some protection up. As well as, um, you know, getting rid of that siphon. Stop focusing your attacks towards Matt. I'm really not liking that. Matt keeps dying way too quickly on me. Alright, you know what? Alright, well, first off, Matt, you use a power metal. Finally, you don't direct your attacks towards Matt. Okay, and now he's back in the picture. Luckily, that charged cannon is out of the way, so I don't have to worry about that anymore. So why not I focus this turn towards taking that thing out? Or, well, I guess that wasn't enough to completely take it out, but nonetheless, let's get a barrier back up. And, ah! Uh, how does Matt keep dying? I put up all these defenses specifically for him, and yet he still keeps dying. Alright, why not... Why not at this time I use a uh, max potion just so he remains at full health? So I'm kind of getting annoyed at this thing constantly, like, draining away at everything. That thing is still at it. And now the magic defense is low for some unknown reason, so now... I gotta focus this turn towards getting the barrier up. This does not look too good. Nonetheless, I'm gonna focus this turn towards... Why don't I use a Mist Potion? Don't aim for Matt. I'm tired of Matt dying. Why does Matt keep dying? That's really getting annoying. Alright, you know what, I'm just gonna focus this turn towards having Matt defend, and see if that makes things any easier. It probably won't watch. Now it's- now they all aim for Natalie. That is so stupid. Alright, Water of Life. Natalie, unleash your limit break and let's keep the fight moving. Restore us back to full health and lower their stats. Matt, you better still not die. Alright, I'm gonna focus this turn towards giving Natalie an ether so she can get her stuff back up and then cast a heal more spell. Oh no. Wait, wait. If it's powerful enough, it might take out the module. And if it takes out the module, that'll be good for me. Yes. What? You've got to be joking me. All right. Let's see, is it siphonable? I want to see if I can siphon it. Because if I can siphon it, that could make things a little bit easier. Nope. Okay, so I can't do that, meaning that I'm still going to have to keep reviving Matt. 
which is going to get very annoying after a while, having to do that every turn. Alright, power metal. You gotta stop dying, Matt. No, 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 no! Uh... Alright, this turn I'm gonna have to let Matt purposefully die so I can get the protection spell back up. But man, there are some things I'm really not liking in this fight. Watch, it's gonna aim for Matt again, just because it... Okay, well it didn't aim for Matt again, but still though, that's not a very good thing. Especially with the fact that I don't have unlimited waters of life. Man, I don't like that thing's electricity. It's way too power. It feels way too powerful is what it feels like. Especially with the fact that it took me... Like, it immediately came back to life within the span of a single turn. Like, is there any way I could beat that thing? Alright, uh, new plan... I'm gonna have Natalie heal this turn. And then have Matt unleash. Why don't we have Nat? Now, let's try taking that thing out again. Because I'm tired of that thing there. Oh, for once, Matt barely survives. Alright, new plan. Since we have plenty of ether at the moment, I'm going to switch over to the Blood Blade. So I'm going to cast a Heal More spell. New plan, everyone. If this works. Okay, it's working so far. Alright, let's have Natalie... Can't have him heal this turn. Nonetheless, I'll just have Matt use another Ether on Natalie. And then I'm gonna have Natalie use. No, what? I don't know what I wanna do this turn. Why don't we just have. Uh... Let's get the barrier back up, because that. That module is powerful and. As long as it... And, of course, he unleashes that at the worst possible time. Meaning that I'm probably going to have to use another Water of Life if I am to... And, Natalie's not... This is probably the turn I die. Yep. Duh! I thought I had it this round, everyone. I thought I had it.